what's going on everybody? James Largo, The Cyclic Shack, thecyclishack.com. Cyclic Shack on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all those other good social media outlets. We are here to do another uh, inventory slash shipment walkthrough. We did get some more uh, fishing this week. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since we did a video. It's been crazy busy, so uh, sorry about that. But uh, you're looking at the 8-foot show tank that just got a fresh water change today. But let's get on to the goodies you want to see. Sorry I haven't put the hoses away yet. Um, back here, which I never really show you guys, but I have some really nice 4-inch uh, wild-caught uh, red rainbow trophies. Monster Malawi Hawk. Let's see. Starting here, we have some Trophius Icola F1 and uh, the Firefly F1s also. On this side, we have German Black Rams, um, German Blue Rams, and German Gold Rams. Uh, these are all special order uh, female high grade flower horns. I have a lone male uh, F1 Mylochromus M. Chuse and a breeding group of a male and four females. Uh, more special order flower horns. Um, F1 Multifasciatus, Shell Dwellers. I have a 3 inch uh, Walter Eye Male, a very nice one. And I have uh, a small group of, I believe, a male and four females uh, of these Walter Eyes as well. If anybody's interested, I don't think I put those on the site, so. You'll have to email me for those if interested. F1 Orange Bemba Trophius. Uh, a little over two inches. You can see these guys are coloring up real nice already. Uh, I have a couple of my breeding groups up for sale. I'm trying to cut back on the number that I have. Uh, this happens to be one of them. Uh, it's a Sunshine. Banga breeding group. This is my breeder male here. And of course with the groups that I breed here there's lots and lots of females. So there's uh, at least 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 or more females. Um, if anybody's interested I have those. This one and a bicolor group with even more females uh, listed for 200 bucks. Um, that's a lot of females and a really really nice quality male. This is the sunshine, and he produces very, very well. I just have uh, two options for, I'm also breeding a sunshine OB, and that produces sunshines also, so I didn't see in having both of those going. And the other group available is this uh, bicolor group. There's the male there, and there is a secondary smaller male in here. And then a bunch, a whole bunch of females. There's probably 15, 18 females. There's this secondary sleeper male. Also listed for 200. I don't think they're on the site, so if interested, email me, jlargo20 at gmail.com or the cichlidshack at gmail.com. My wild caught Lensochroma Secutisep group. Okay, triple uh, A grade uh, King Kampa flower horns. There's uh, male number one, male number two. Maybe we'll just cover all the flower horns first. 
High grade from Thailand, triple grade A, golden base flower horn number one. Golden base flower horn number two. These guys are probably four and a half, five inches. The compa is probably uh, three and a quarter to four. This is a triple grade super red dragon flower horn from Thailand. This guy is much bigger, probably well over six inches. Really has a cool personality already. This is a smaller, younger, uh, triple grade A red dragon flower horn from Thailand. This guy is four inch or so. Another big uh, guy, six inch plus. Another SRD super red dragon. This is a uh, King Kampa high grade female that was special ordered. And this is a four to four and a half inch uh, triple grade out of Thailand Thai silk. And that's all the flower horns we have right now. Back to the other goodies here. We have F1 Burundi six stripe frontosas, and we have an abundance of two inch uh, F1 Synodonis Multis. There's a whole bunch in this tank, and there's more in the tank next to it. F1 Brevis, uh, some about inch and a half, most of them about two inches. And Gelidiochromis malariae's. Pretty much full size F1 gold ocelotus. Another Shelly. Um, Gelidiochromis ornatus. We still have that one Burchardi. And there is more Synodonis multis in here, like I said. Uh, Kanzu loaches and Pundamilla near eyes. I have some nice males and a couple of females. These are two and a half to three inch uh, tetrastigmas. And you can see there's uh, a couple of fired. Up. These are males, and one or two of them fire up at a time. And then when that fired up one comes out, the next one fires up. This is that local tank that has ghost knives and little fancy goldfish and barbs and stuff. These are the uh, three and a half to four inch Z-Rock lithobates listed on the site. Really nice blazes coming in, the blue in the body is in. Really nice blazes on these. And gold per catfish, you can tell is eaten. Peacock gudgeons. Really cool, uh, small little nano fish. These are bred here locally by the same gentleman who breeds the um, spotted Congo puffers. The local sail tanks. Oh, let's see here. Somewhere in here, hiding at the bottom is Angara flame tails. Getting low on these, we'll have to get some more, but there is some nice males and females and some unsexed ones. Lots and lots of beautiful German reds.
We also have females on these. Oh, lots of four inch plus red top Lawandas. Five inch by colors. Oh, there's quite a few of them in there. Four to five inch dragon bloods and blue dragon bloods. The Wayne Peacocks looking fantastic. I mean, look at that. Wow. Got lots of nice Ethelwayne males and females. These guys are nice and fired up in here because they're just Ethels in this tank with females. Beautiful five inch fluorescent peacocks. This guy's all fired up and flaring. But there's lots of them to choose from. Also, have some two inch on sex that we've bred here. Look at this guy. These are black dorsal fluorescents. Five inch plus. We have some females and a bunch of unsex that we've bred here as well. The always beautiful, ever gleaming sunshines. These are um, offspring from that group that I showed you that I have for sale. And the males, oh plenty. There's lots of them to choose from and they're one right after the other, just stunningly beautiful. Uh, five inch plus outer points. Look at that. There's a two inch male wheat bread showing in there too. Nice outer points. Green face solo size. I think they're all down on the bottom. Really nice uh, green face solo size. Uh, we have males and females. We have some breeding groups listed on a lot of these fish you're seeing. And don't mind the tops of these, some of these top tanks, the lights on the ceiling. Uh, I was too busy this week to get to scrubbing some of these top tanks. Uh, I apologize, but I'm only one guy. Green face to low size, males, females, breeding groups. Uh, Kobu Regals. Lots of four inch plus. Beautiful, stunning Kobu Regal Blues. We have females as these as well. There's a lot of them. Albino Eureka Reds. Four inch males, three inch females. I believe I even have some three inch males in here. Lots of nice uh, Eureka Red. Albinos O Plenty. The nice fired up male back there. I have Midnight New Series, who series coming out my rear end, folks. Uh, I kept ordering uh, Robertis or um, Cornelii Eye Blue Golds, and my supplier kept sending me these. Uh, I think they have somebody new there that's confused or something. Um, but I have about 40 of these 5 inch midnights um, Probably 30 males and 10 females Anybody's interested They're looking 
really nice. We have them both four inch and five inch. OB Peacocks all plenty from two inch on sex from Skittles to four inch males to five inch males. Oranges and creams and pinks and blues and whatever your pleasure we got. Five inch blue neons oh plenty. Uh, lots of females as well. Very nice five inch blue neons and healthy females. Uh, this is the Cornelii blue golds that I keep trying to order more of. Only have a few left and a bunch of females. Uh, Hans Bashi red shoulder peacocks all plenty. Uh, we have anywhere from two inch on sex we've bred here. Uh, the three inch females to four inch plus males. Uh, we got you covered. Really nice red shoulders. Albino sunshines. Much of a more brighter yellow than the Eureka Reds, which are more of a bright orange. Males and females on these. This is one of those tanks I'm talking about with the algae from the lighting. Uh, but these are Kate McClear Jakes, 5 inch plus. Uh, we also have females. Sorry, this is one of the really bad ones. There's multiple lights right here that always get me. But uh, trust me, they're nice. Stunning, stunning lemon jakes. Oh, plenty. I mean, seriously, look at that. And then you move on to the next one, and look at that. And these lemon jakes are fire, folks. Straight fire on these lemon jakes right now. Good night. Whew. All right. Maylandi sulfur heads, four inch males. We even have a two and a half inch male showing that we've bred here. Uh, yeah, and some females. We got Maylandis. Malaria Chidunga rocks and Chalumba Peacocks. Both are all in four inch plus. We have females for the uh, Chalumbas, not the Chidunga Rocks. Lots of nice, beautiful Chalumbas and Malaria Chidunga Rocks. Albino strawberries, four inch plus. We have some females from those too. And blue orchids. There is a nice fired up blue orchid male there. There's another one here. There's another really nice albino sunshine or strawberry. Another blue orchid. Blue orchid, blue orchid. Lots of nice, uh, and we have males and females on both. This tank is uh, Turkish. We have four inch males and then a bunch of unsexed. Red collar peacocks, males and females. These red collars are five inch or bigger. Really, really nice. We also have uh, three to four inch females. Really, really nice uh, Eureka Red Jakes. Four and a half to five inch Eureka Reds. And then we have some two inch on sex that we bred here as well. Kind of a dark spot. 
was hoping you could see the red better. These guys are pretty red. Yeah, they're not cooperating. Five inch plus in Benji Regal Blues, three to four inch females. These guys are really, really nice. My um, Super Reds, there's my breeder male for a second. Munching on cans of green beans for their weekend treat. Um, F1 Dimitrochromus Kawingis, four inch females, four and a half to five inch males. Five inch Red Empress. We have three and four inch females for these as well. These are wild caught uh, Buchanachromis spectabilis males. And I have a bunch of females as well. Really, really nice wild caught Buco spectabilis. Um, OB Dimitrochromis uh, compressiceps. OB eye biters, in other words. These are all males. I believe there is one um, F1 or two, maybe two. F1 Malawi eye biters remaining and some females for those. Uh, lots and lots of Taiwan reefs. Really nice blazing Taiwan reefs. Uh, we have lots of females. We have Taiwan males in multiple sizes. Here's a young uh, three and a half to four inch male coloring up. Uh, these are big five inch plus males. Looking really, really nice. And lots of females. This guy right here. It's all fired up. Uh, Trophius de Boise. These guys are about three and a half inch. Uh, Redfin Borley eyes from two inch unsexed up to five inch males. Uh, four and a half to five inch Venustus. And there's a couple uh, Mylochromus Amphromimus males and a couple of Fusco females and a couple of Stargatus females. Really nice Venustus. These are uh, the Quadramaculatus. These guys are monster, probably five and a half, six inch, and they're gorgeous. I have males and females on the quads. And then these are the Protomelus Labradins. Starting to color up really nice four to five inch on those, only males. There's one of those quads, stunning. Living stone eyes, uh, I have some nice males and a few females. Down here, uh, these are young, two and a half to three inch, probably mostly three inch, uh, F1 Acuity Set, Malawi Gars. I have not listed these yet because I got some bigger ones in I figured people would want first. I was thinking of throwing these in the tubs to grow them out, but we'll see. You'll see the bigger ones on the next aisle. We have some four and a half to five inch ivory head Melotos as well as four and a half to five inch OB ivory head Melotos. Uh, these you don't see often. In fact, it's the first time I've ever seen them. And the OBs, a lot of them even have what looks to be white blazes. Kind of a neat blue and white OB with the shape of the Meloto. Something new. Nice Meloto. OB Melotos. 
This is my uh, breeding group that I grew out from Mr. Adam C. The Mylochromus uh, Spilistitious Macola Reef. Uh, up here are Lethernop Intermedius males. And there is one of my Z Rock OBs coloring up. I have in here growing out with them. Really nice uh, Intermedius males. These are Autopharynx ovatus males and females. Really nice ovatus, four to five inch. Five inch plus tangerine tigers, four inch females. Really nice tigers. Spilinotus tanzanias, males and females. These are the four and a half to five inch ones and the big females that are listed with the group. I'll show you the new ones we got in that are about two and a half, three inch. Uh, if, if you guys like to grow some out, I can already see males in there too. We have a couple of the uh, Oxyrhynchus males remaining and some females. This is that giant hat. Lots and lots of nice uh, Bodzulu males. Uh, blazes are coming in on their heads and their color is in. Look at that blaze. Nice big healthy females as well. Some of these are pushing, are probably over six inch. Uh, more Z Rock lithobates. We have some two inch unsexed we bred here up to four to five inch big boys. That guy's really nice. OB Fryer Eye, White Knights, and Electric Blue Fryer Eye. We have all three and four and a half to five inch males up here. This guy's looking really nice. Probably trying to breed with the few females that are in there. Really nice white knights. Electric blues. Really nice OB fryer eyes. Uh, I believe I have two wild caught males left and like three or four females on the Malawi Hawks. Down here, these are the wild caught Spilinotus Tanzanias. Uh, I believe I have four males and two females and uh, I still have a few of the smaller unsexed prior vitalis and I have one Niger Venter that I am I believe is a male I'm trying to fatten up he's a little skinny right now he's wild caught somebody was emailing me about him um, this is your guy I just need to he, he looks okay but I'd like him to be a little chunkier so I'm trying to fatten him up these are the four inch plus uh, red cap lethernops. Looking really, really nice. Got a whole bunch more uh, F1 Buchachromis nodotanias. Uh, we got five inch males and a whole bunch of females that are about three and a half to four inch as well. If anybody would like to breed a good strain of F1 Buchachromis nodotanius, there's a dominant male there. There's some healthy females here. We got quite a few. I think I got like 10 males and maybe six, eight females. Down here are wild caught Buco Rhodesii yellows, and I have clear males and clear females. And then I also have uh, some more wild caught Niger Venters. 
I believe these, that one, that one, and this one to be female. And I'm on the fence about this one. Uh, it, it could go either way. Also in here are a few um, F1 Malawi Trouts, which I believe to be female. And there's a couple F1 uh, Buchachromus heterotaneas that I had grown out out of my grow out tubs. I think there's a male and maybe two females. Phoenixes are getting closer. I'm just waiting for them to put on size. They're only about three, three and a quarter inch right now. Uh, I'd like to get them to closer to four. Uh, so their blazes are fully in like that and they're fully colored up and they're going to hold their color. But uh, I'm starting to separate males. This is a 150 tall that I'm growing some out. I also have a tub full of males. So we're getting closer. F1 Fusco's 5 inch. Showing really good color already. These are all males and I have the two females I showed you earlier. These are the F1 uh, Lensochroma Secuticeps, the Malawi Gars. I am keeping the females to add to my breeding group, um, but I believe I have eight or nine males that are four inch. Uh, a couple of them are close to five inch. Uh, they're showing some color already and they're evident males. Like this guy here. These are F1 Malawi Gars. You rarely ever see these at this size very often. These won't last long, folks, so if you want one, don't hesitate. These are uh, deep water haps. We have four inch males up to five and a half to six inch males. Uh, some four and a half to five inch males, and we have uh, three and a half to four inch females. So we got deep water haps in just about every, that's a four inch male, four and a half to five inch male, five and a half to six inch male. We got them in all different sizes. Another one of these algae tanks, sorry. Uh, these are OBs from Skittles out of the grow out tubs that are about three and a half to four inch and goldfin borley eyes at 5 inch. And that's my Turkish breeder male that I have hiding for right now. These are uh, Stevens Eye Imperial Tigers Blue Golds. These are 4 inch plus. Really nice fish. And I also have a few of the wild-caught uh, species Chidunga yellowfins left. Down here are 4-inch plus albino Taiwan reefs, males, 3-inch females, and these are wild-caught Exochromus anagenes. Uh, I got these in last week and the evident males that I could see went right away. Uh, I'm hoping that there's a few more males in here uh, that will fire up eventually. They're at about four inch right now, so uh, it'd be tough to vent them accurately if they haven't laid eggs yet. But these are wild caught Exochromus anagenes. Up here are stunning OB Red Empress. And five inch Azurus. These OB Red Empress, probably five and a half, six inch. And the Azurus, probably about five. These are uh, Malomo VC 10s, four and a half to five inch males. And also four and a half to five inch Dimitrochromus strigatus. 
they're starting to show nice color the strigatus and there's a dominant VC10 right there that's showing really uh, some decent color uh, down here are four to five inch uh, more eye blue dolphins this is a really really nice strain of dolphins you can see they got nuchal humps already at this size inch to five inch plus in D-Way Blue Fire Haps. These are a cousin to the Red Empress, but more blue. That's why they're called in D-Way Blue Fire Haps, because they're mainly blue with some red trim. Really, really nice fish. Here is a dominant male right here. Here's a subdominant dress. Here's a young three and a half to four inch male. And here is a female. So we have all of the bases covered on these. There's another dominant male there. This is my um, true Trophius Malero, true firecracker breeding group. These are wild caught. Really like these guys. Down here are some more Walter eye growing out. You can see there's another male showing right there. This is my uh, wild caught Mylochromus latastriga long nose group. Uh, rainbows, all plenty. My blueberry arowana that I've had here for a while now. He's getting pretty big. Uh, this is my fifth generation OBZ rock male that will be my next breeder. You can see he's got a blaze now. And this guy is only three inch. Here are the F1 Spilonotus Tanzania as I was telling you about. These are the ones that are about two and a half to three inch. Uh, I got about 20 or more of them. Uh, I can see a bunch of clear males. So I've listed some males on there. If anybody would like to get some of these and grow them out. These are F1s. Uh, let's see, we got Neons and these are the Red Spotted Gold Severums. These are really, really nice. Great color. I have a customer who was asking about these Golden Veil Angels, so here they are. There's one there, that's a female. Here's one male. And here's the other one hiding in the corner. These are the nice Golden Veils. Um, Red Devils. Another algae tank, but oh well. Oscars, uh, Thread Finicaras, and Electric Blue Acaras. Uh, an Assorted Angel Tank, and um, Endlers. Endlers are so colorful for being so little. And these um, angels, uh, their bodies are about a little bit bigger than quarter size. There's, there's a variety of different kinds. Down here, Electric Blue Texas. Uh, I have a couple of big Oscars that were trade-ins. Uh, I have a big parrotfish. Um, these are what everybody, a lot of people are really liking these Electric Blue Texas cichlids. Have like the coloration of the Electric Blue Jack Dempsey, pretty cool. This is the assorted two inch Imbuna tank that you'll find on the website. Uh, this is the tank we choose from. So we just pick a nice variety of the number of uh, Imbunas that you order and we send them to you. These are the three to four inch ones. Assorted Imbunas. And here's another tank of them. Alrighty folks, 
I think that's it for this inventory walkthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed. The website is fully updated. If you do not see something on there that you're looking for, as always, email us at jlargo20 at gmail.com or the cyclochack at gmail.com and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Please be good to each other and God bless.